Hello everybody, my name is Paul Jr. and welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. So, we've just done Walter. Oops. And now um, we've just watched Walter die, if you haven't seen that. Well, I'm sure my mom was tough. trying to protect me. <laughs> and so let's continue and see what else we find. So he had a, a fake picture to look outside. Poor Walter. Okay. Is the train still being used? Because I, I don't want to get done by it as well. No, we're not gonna. Oh. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. What? But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, the mole. Can't really imagine what else she was hiding. The. Uh... The mole. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Yeah, I know you're taking me that way. So that was all this old food and stuff. So the mole man that was living under the house, brown rice, was Walter. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> oh. Okay. There's only one of us left. Or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. No, you need to do that. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Hmm. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse that you made it. That's, well, yeah, it's kind of like the placebo effect, if you think about it, if you believe something enough. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. No, oh, you got to, oh, right, you've got to continue. Oh. You gotta continue and sort of um. Thought you should know about your family. Oh, eh? Did you have a child? And the history you're a part of. Yeah, you definitely had a child. Ooh, pretty moon. Oh, I can't go out into the water. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. <sighs> hmm. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. What well, a nice little island to live on though, and have such a house that they do, or did. look at the house had that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible it's just so simply done I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it I pick that up. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> yeah. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery made me more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. <laughs> I look at the names, Zerpy, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy, Burpy, Derpy, Derpy Jr. Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Coco, Zoe, Oliver, Shadow, Bob, Christopher, and Shatzi? Sh Shatzi, I'm going with that, yeah. And Bailey. 
Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. There's something really eerie with this. Molly Finch, born December 11, 1937, died December 13, 1947. Calvin Finch, 1950, 61. Sven, 15 to 64. He did. 17. I see she left, lived a full life. Walter, 52. He did, but well, I say he lived a full life, but he was the mole man underground. 44 to that. So, I'm sure. But we're missing Gus, Dawn, Gregory, Sam. Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. That's so sad. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, is that where he died? Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Oh. Sam. Oh, here we go. Her dad Sam. was pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory was one. And not even one. Yeah, one. Me too. Um, but it's just they're all so young. Milton, born. Oh wait, that hasn't got a, that hasn't got a death day. Sanjay Kumar. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get yes. why she tried so hard to protect us. Can I touch that? No. Milton Finch is still Some things I wish I could ask my mom now but there's nothing Part written on Milton this is what she wanted all along for me to come back someday and find everything out for myself well, one hell of a way to find out But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I would have said no. I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Uh, I can't see myself. Back up. Back up. Oh! So, but she said she's only 17. Careful. Is there a ladder somewhere? Good sake, man, she's pregnant. See, it's a whole different kettle of fish now. <laughs> I never thought Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. I thought I was going up the shimmy up the drain pipe. They were both pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. So is this Sam? Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. 
I guess we're all afraid of something. Ah, oh, the music is brilliant. Oh, it's that same picture. Ah, oh, the music. Airline ticket. Okay. Right, let's go see what happened to Sam. It's all going to be photos. Ah, <laughs> oh, wait. I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Aww. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Hmm. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? What, then my dad? Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. What am I looking for? Let's see. What am I looking for? Come on, I don't want to stop the story. What was it? No, I don't want to stop the story. Could have been. Ah, there you are. Ah, oh. good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where are we? Don? Oh no. You don't want to take that. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Yeah, but you don't want to take that. If they don't want to do it, don't let them do it. 
Sorry, huh. Don. Just got to reset the timer. Oh, right. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally like... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! Oh. Oh. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Oh. Um, okay. Hmm. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. He was a hero, was he? Well, he enlisted, he signed up. I like the uh, building itself. Let's go back outside. No, so that's Sam there. And then you gave me this. Can I look out there? No. Am I going the wrong way? I do apologize if I am. I don't want to break the flow of the story. I don't think I'd have to go back out. Ah, of course, there's a secret passage. <clears throat> After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. I've lost fucking everybody. Finch control. <laughs> Gregory. Ah, oh, this one's the Baba. Gregory and Dawn. And Gus. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Ooh. <laughs> swimming in the water. Maybe a couple of people might get that joke. What? It's, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm the frog. <laughs> it's been soon, 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 soon. I had one of these. Uh, oh, I've sunk. Oh, ah! it's time to. Oh. Hold on, sweetie. Oh. Oh, I like that. I like the um. Sam, I told you I don't want to uh... right now. They're arguing while he's in the bath. How can you let a kid be in the bath on their own? Hey, when they're what is wrong well, was like? I'm definitely a baby. <laughs> I'm definitely a, a bambino, but I can sit myself up. <laughs> and apparently, I'm a Jedi. You reminded me so much of Calvin. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> That was he saw. Oh, the whales! Eyes moving. <laughs> oh, can I get on the whale? Yeah. Sure made him happy. Oh. Ah, oh, this is nice. I like this. I, I, I want all these toys in the bath for me. Yes, I want all these toys in the bath for me. One hundred percent. Yeah. 
Got it hot. Do I get on the whale? Oh, sorry, Mr. Whale. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, for pity's sake. There we go. Hey! <laughs> and up. Join in! Oh, there's some letters over there that tell me I need to get up there. Come on. Oh, I like this. I, I like it. It sounds. I like the bar, like um, the actual bath no, screen itself. Baby being too happy. But why would you actually leave your baby in the bar? Slip him away. I don't. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. No, I was enjoying bath time. Maybe if I could. No! Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. You get out of the... Get the kid out of the bar first! Oh, you get the kid out of the bar first! You do not answer the phone! I wish you could have told us. About the world we saw. Stop the stop the tap. There's so much. Do do not answer the phone. About everything. If your child is in the bath, especially that young. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Well, kind of was. Sure Both yours fault. He want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Gus is next. Oh, he's a little bit older, but he's still a kid. <sighs> is there no dawn? Yeah, there is a dawn. <sighs> I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yeah. Gus. <sighs> Here we go. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before mm. the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be oh. before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh, how clever. Oh. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Oh, I love this game. Talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I, I now heard. pronounce you husband and wife. You make his cry. I don't want this game to end. I am so enjoying this. And not just because it has kites. <laughs> Can I get them? Eh! Any more? Anymore? Where am I going now? Uh 
right and that I'm sort of lost of where I'm going. Ah, oh, I didn't see them there. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> well done, Gus. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Gus isn't happy. There's Odin. Ah, destruction! Down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had to leave. Am I going to destroy it? No. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Gus is not a happy boy. Oh, Gus, drop the kite. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Keep playing until the I found you. Oh. Oh. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Okay, I think that's an, enough of this one. Kids, it's a bit hard to do. But this game, the writing, art, oh, and just how it's storytelling is just, ah. Oh. Oh. You got me that one a little bit. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.